And the final one, custom inputs. And this is a new feature, it's quite unique to Equitech. Um, never been anything like this before. So using your mobile device, we've got five custom inputs that can be configured by the tuner and adjusted with the phone. These can be set up as sliders, switches, list values and buttons. So you see in the top example we have a slider and it's set up for traction control. This is not the factory traction control which is quite aggressive and every time there's an element of wheel slip it kills the performance. If you turn off the factory traction control the tuner can now set up a throttle and ignition retard based traction control, configure how he likes and give the user the ability to simply adjust it with the phone. You don't want traction control, you want to do burnouts, sweep it to the left sweep it to the right, full traction control, it's hardly going to let the car slip. Gives the power to the user to do what he wants. This particular 370Z has got a turbocharger on it. Um, we've created a closed loop boost control and we can adjust the amount of boost pressure that we'd like using the mobile device. So it might be far left, we've got actuator pressure, 0.4 bar. Fully to the right, 1.2 bar. You decide, just turn the boost pressure up and down as you like. Next one's called Throttle Response. We've configured this for four different drivability settings. This is changing the relationship between the axle pedal and the throttle opening, which is basically the torque of the engine. Here we have an economy mode, regular, a sport, and a race. So in the race mode, it, the car will be much more aggressive, it'll be much sharper, reactive to the axle pedal position, whereas in economy, it's gonna be a lot softer and less likely to accelerate, therefore saving us fuel. The next one is a fail safe. This has been set up as a simple switch. Turn it on and off. And this fail safe is set up for lean AFR and full power. This could be set up for coolant temperature. So if we're on a track day, if the coolant temperature goes over say 110, that we could reduce the throttle opening until the car cools down. We can just turn this feature on and off when we want using the mobile device. The final one is, um, is a momentary switch and it's been set up for overboost. So when we push and hold the button, we could do something where we add another 0.2 bar, another 3 PSI to the boost pressure, or we could do it as a timer where we push the switch once and it runs for 10 or 15 seconds, giving us a bit of extra power just when we want it. It's just some of the examples of how custom inputs can be used by the tuners to create unforeseen features using ECU Connect. This is custom inputs example two. In this example, we've set the custom inputs up to do various other things. When we choose custom inputs, we can see we've got two sliders, we've got a numerical value and two switches. On the top one, it's been configured using custom maps to adjust the VTC, the variable timing control on the engine. So basically, we can adjust um, an overall uh, trim for the valve angle, plus or minus 10 degrees. Next one down is the VVL. We can control the VVL live using our mobile device. Lock the car on the dyno, adjust the VVL, adjust the VTC to get the best power output. Next one again is a, a tuner tool, um, speed density correction. So if we want to increase or decrease the amount of speed density correction, we can do this using ECU Connect. Next to a setup of switches, the top one, that of the two is fuel enrichment, simply turn it on and off. Maybe if the car is on a track day, it's getting a bit warm, we just want to add a bit of extra fuel. We could just, um, just add maybe 5% extra fuel. And the bottom one is a scenario maybe on forced induction where we've got water injection. Hot day again, you just want added protection. You can turn on and off the water injection um, using ECU Connect. All these features are available only because of custom inputs and custom maps. In this final custom inputs example, we've set up some uh, more unusual settings, but it shows the power of what you can do with custom inputs and custom maps. It gives, it gives the tuner the ability to create uh, previously um, unavailable features. So the top one we've set up as event selector. So this could be different tunes in different modes for maybe road, rally, race, or drag race. The tuner has the ability to change the ignition, the fuel, uh, the valve timing for any particular mode. 
gives you an example of what you could set up. It could be for ice um, as well. Next one, exhaust screamer pipe. So this is something you could fit to the vehicle and using a solenoid, um, we can turn it on and off using ECU Connect. So literally when we turn it on, the solenoid's activated, we've got an exhaust bypass port. Our next example is a nitrous switch. If you've got nitrous fitted to your vehicle, you can arm and disarm the nitrous using ECU Connect and the custom inputs. It's become more popular in recent times using additional fuel on liftoff and ignition retard. You can add pops and bangs. Now, if you've got a full um, free flow exhaust system on the car, it can get a bit annoying when you lift off, it pops and bangs. So you can give the customer the ability to turn the feature to adjust the feature. Um, whereas on quiet, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to retard the time, it's not going to add fuel. And as you dial it up, you can simply add more fuel and put more retard in. And the final one demonstrates the, the momentary switch where we can push and hold. So it says flames. Um, in a previous example, it was overboost. This can be used to do whatever we want. This could be flames, could be driving an injector in the exhaust, squirting fuel, um, combined with something like a rev limit in a certain map switch mode. We could uh, make the car shoot some big flames if that's what you want to do.